Hello and welcome to my channel. So ever since I got the Xtool F1 and started sharing like different projects and settings, I got so many questions about how deep does the F1 engrave metal. So I thought I would make an entire video just on that. And because I decided not to do a voiceover for all the footage I have for you in this video, I just want to quickly explain what's going on and what I'm gonna do. So basically I took bare brass, sterling silver and bare stainless steel and I engraved them on different settings and then I put them into pickling solution heated up in a crock pot which is something I use for removing tarnish after soldering jewelry so I'm basically trying to remove as much of the black tarnish as possible to be able to show you how deep the engraving is and if you can still see the design after the black is removed now I also got so many questions about different engravings so I just want to quickly mention some types of engraving in this video as well. Just gonna start with hand engraving. With hand engraving you can just use a simple engraving tool to push on the graver and remove metal from your piece. Another type of hand engraving is when you use a graver tool which is attached to a machine that will kind of help you with the pressure so you basically don't need to use all your strength to push on the piece and remove the metal. but they basically work on the same basis. Next, you can engrave metal on a CNC machine. Similarly to the hand engraving tool, it also uses a very sharp tip and that scrapes the metal and gets rid of the metal as it goes. Obviously, you've got your fiber lasers like the Xtool F1 Ultra, which is actually a dual laser. Obviously, if 20 watt is not enough for you, then you can just get a fiber laser on its own and they are made in different powers. As you will see later in this video, you can use a diode laser to mark slash engrave metal, depending on the type of metal and settings you use. With the Xtool F1, D1 Pro and the S1. You can change the laser module to the infrared module, which is great for engraving metal. However, if you are mainly interested in a machine for metal engraving, I would suggest a fiber laser for sure because it's pretty fast. And I almost forgot engraving using a rotary tool with various attachments. You do need a sturdy hand though because the rotary is spinning fast and it's easy to slip and mess up. And then for example stamping. I realize stamping is not engraving so it doesn't remove any metal. You're just making an indent but it's a way to mark your metal. And then you can fill the indents with patina and all done.
you enjoyed this video and if you do give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and i will see you soon bye